Did, did you hear about the guy in North Carolina who bought a bunch of very expensive cigars and then had them insured against fire? And then he smoked them all and filed a claim. And when the insurance company refused to pay him, he took them to court and the judge ruled in his favor. So rather than appealing, the insurance company paid the man $15,000. And when he cashed the check, they had him arrested for arson. Can, can you believe that? Well, given how crazy the world is these days, you, you probably can. But it never happened. It's an urban legend. One of those internet stories that even the most skeptical think, hmm, that could be true. I got to thinking, if we can be fooled by urban myths, I bet we sometimes take the bait on spiritual myths. Here's one. Spiritual growth is automatic once you become a Christian. We just need to get them convicted, convinced, and rinsed in baptism, and our work is done. Christianity, it's easy. Just add water. Fact check, not true. See, churches are full of people who've been Christians for decades but haven't grown an inch. And that's because spiritual growth is not automatic. It has to be intentional. In Matthew 28, 19 and 20, Jesus told his apostles, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. The disciples have to be made and taught. That sounds like a very deliberate, intentional process, and it is. In Acts 2, the first Christians devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching. Even Jesus had to learn. Luke 2 says he grew in wisdom, and the Hebrews writer says he had to learn obedience. I like the way Paul put it in Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. The spiritual, spiritual growth is an intentional process that requires my personal commitment. Once you become a Christian, there is a Bible full of teaching to be learned, gifts to be discovered and put to use, and disciplines like prayer, solitude, simplicity, and giving that need to be developed. This new year is a great time for you to reject the spiritual myth that spiritual growth is automatic. Join a small group in your church. Attend Sunday school and worship regularly. Follow a good daily devotional plan. My wife Lisa and I are, are using Tim and Kathy Keller's book, The Songs of Jesus, based on the Psalms. Or, or you can check out rightnowmedia.org. They have a huge library of Bible studies that can help you be more intentional with your faith. Next week, I'll share another spiritual myth with you. Until then, let's get busy growing on purpose. Not a sermon, just a thought.